What's my What's my biggest fear? Not be prepared. Yeah, I probably have one that's bigger than that. Was it L O S I N? Yes, losing you. Hmm. Now enough of the sentimental stuff. What is going on, everyone? I am Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about Russell Wilson and some things that he said in a Q and A with him and his wife Sierra. And there are people who are having some interesting responses to him and him basically telling everyone that he worships his wife. He puts her on a pedestal. He's afraid of losing her. And what I also find interesting, and we'll probably get to it later, he did not give her that same question of what she was afraid to lose, right? That, that same question wasn't asked of her, right? And also, I will speak to the interview where she was asked, and this was part, I guess, of GQ, and they were asked about future in the past. And I posted a question about this on Twitter. You know, why are they trying to push this whole future versus Russell Wilson beef? Which there really is no beef. I mean, yet, you know, years ago, future did not like the fact that, she, you know, Sierra was already introducing his son to Russell within what a year of them dating right and since then he sort of made peace with their situation even though she tried to sue future for defamation which was crazy uh, which played into the fact that maybe there was still some hard feelings right but future has sort of went out of his way in his own way to sort of squash any type of beef situation right to move on with his life and for Sierra to move on with hers. But the media has always tried to push this narrative, a narrative I really did not understand. And I also want to say this too about Russell and him and his comments. Listen, you should never put your girlfriend or your wife on any type of pedestal. This is not a Hallmark, a Hallmark movie. Hallmark not a hallmark movie this is not one of those novels that a lot of women like to read this is real life with people with real feelings and real needs and i know that russell and sierra seem to have a very good relationship you know, good marriage they share a child with each other they've built a family together right but when you are telling the woman that you are with, that you are afraid of losing her. You're basically telling her and everybody else that future was right. That maybe in a way she does control him. I mean, look at his fashion choices, the way he dude had his hair once. I mean, there have been signs that she's had an influence on him in certain aspects of his life some people may think it was for the better right but when you're basically putting her on a pedestal and saying i'm afraid to lose her that's gonna put you in a more secondary submissive situation with her because no matter what she would do you're not gonna go anywhere it, Russell is in this marriage to win it. He's not looking to leave her. He's not looking to break apart from this relationship. But you also got to look at the fact that she had never up to that point dated a guy like Russell. This was the first type of guy whom was outside of the norm of the guys that she had normally dated. You know, Russell is a guy who's a really seemed like a really genuine guy. If I if I had to choose somebody to be a teammate of, somebody who I could talk to, somebody who would be a genuinely uh good dude, it seemed like that would be Russell. So I'm not here to 
go in on Russell, but I just want Russell to understand that as much as he wants to be the relationship that people can live vicariously through, that is a very, very tall feat, okay? And it's very difficult to do that. We've seen a lot of these relationships that seemingly are the model of what people would want relationships to be. We've seen how those situations end up. They end up falling apart. There's a lot that was going on no one ever saw, right? And I'm not saying that's what's going on here, but when you look at Sierra's reaction, now some people say maybe she knew the answer, you know, at first, and you know, maybe that was a bit coach. There were people that were saying it was very cringy. Because again, it seemed like he was putting her on a pedestal that a lot of women don't like to be put on, no matter what they say. Now, if you are a commenter, right? If you're one of these commenters on social media that's constantly commenting on women's pictures and videos and you're pedestalizing them, they may like that. But when it comes to relationships, women want a balance, right? They don't want to live in a fairy tale in their real life. They want a guy who's going to display character traits that make them feel off balance. Whether there are women that want to admit it or not, they like to feel off balance when it comes to the guys that they are with. They don't want to be with a guy who they 100% have figured out, that they 100% know them, that they 100% have their, you know, um, they have influence on them, right? Now, things could be different behind the scenes, but I doubt it, you know, in certain aspects of the relationship. I just think that Sierra has an influence on him that people just can't see. Maybe it's good, maybe it's not. But looking at this interview that they did, right? And looking back at how they try to to, to drug up this this uh they tried to bring up these old issues with future, a guy who's not even talking about Sierra. He hasn't talked about Sierra in, in a while. And they're bringing this up when Sierra should have made it clear to them don't bring up future but for some reason whenever they're interviewed future is going to seemingly be brought up because it's almost as if this relationship is to show women that you could you know go through all these different quote-unquote bad boys and then when you're tired of those guys you can move on to a russell wilson that's what they're pushing. That's the narr that's the narrative that they're pushing. It's like you don't have to get your Russell Wilson when you're in your prime and you're in your early 20s, right? You can get with them once you become a single mother. Once you're over the age of 30, then you can look towards get or or 40. You can then get your Russell Wilson. That's the narrative they push every time I see an interview with her and Russell, and they're bringing up future. That's what they're constantly trying to do. And then and then they had this they had this goofy name for it. Public toxicity. That's what they're saying. They're saying that it was futures public toxicity. They are constantly listen, whether you like future or not is not the issue here. My issue is that you're using a guy who wants nothing to do with Sierra, who has nothing to do with her except for what their their son is concerned. Why do you keep trying to compare him to her current situation that we don't even know how that's going to, uh, how, how that situation is, is going to last moving forward. But the fact that they keep trying to compare her old situation to her current situation is basically the, the media's way of pushing this narrative that despite a woman you know, being ran through, dating all types of dysfunctional men, she can still get with a religious, Christian, uh, intelligent, nice guy who's successful, no kids. You can still get that type of guy. Even though you didn't want that guy when you were in your prime, 
You didn't want that guy, right? Until you done dated all these other different types of guys and you're, you're through with them. That's the narrative that's being pushed, whether people want to see that or not. That is what's being pushed out there. That's the narrative that's being pushed. I know people don't want to see it. They don't want to believe it, but that's, that's just the truth. That's just the truth. Now, also want to speak about Russell Wilson's current situation with the Seattle Seahawks. Currently, there is some rumblings about Russell Wilson possibly being traded by the Seattle Seahawks if they may be looking to move him. And that, I believe, is coming from his camp. It's not coming from the Seahawks. Uh, information is being leaked from his team. And that got me to thinking. That definitely got me to thinking of the Carmelo Anthony situation, right? How Carmelo wanted to get traded all of a sudden and tried to make it seem like it wasn't his wife, Lala, that was pushing for him to get traded. But if you look at hindsight, yes, it was. Because immediately after that, you got this reality show, her getting more into acting, and their relationship completely fell apart after that, right? And now you're hearing rumblings about Russell Wilson want, feeling like the Seahawks don't want him anymore. First off, they signed Russell Wilson not too long ago to a huge contract. Not only that, it's very difficult to get an elite level quarterback so why in the world would the seahawks want to trade russell wilson you they drafted one of the best young wide receivers in the nfl in dk metcalf they basically gave you an elite wide receiver now the offensive line is a different story okay Effort definitely needs to be put there. But did Russell take any less money? No, he did not. So they have to go with what they can go with. Right? He knew he knew what the issues with the offensive line and he signed and he re-signed anyway. So we can't use that as an excuse. They got him an elite level wide receiver. Right? Pete Carroll is an excellent football coach. But these rumblings I'm starting to hear how he may want more. You know, he wants more input on the the personnel that's being brought in. I mean, dude, they are getting you the best that they can possibly give you. It just seems that it may be a power play and seeds may be sown to sever himself from that situation with the Seahawks in order for him to go to a bigger market city. I'm not saying that's what's going on, but you got to look at the fact that you're hearing rumblings from his team not too long after signing a huge contract to stay. And I also want to say this. You look at the success Tom Brady had. Tom Brady was never trying to be in the GM's room or you know when they're making personnel decisions he worked with what he had right and he still won super bowls and it has it's a team aspect i'm not saying that he's the the number one reason but he wasn't he wasn't caring about uh that he just cared about having a good coach being organized and being able to help everyone around him to be successful and it worked but some of these guys, man, like, you know, sometimes they just want to leave. Sometimes they want out. Sometimes they want to move on. And those seeds could be planted. And, and there's talk that it could be Sierra that's pushing this narrative. Again, we will see. And when I talked about earlier about future, some years ago, talking about how he, you know, he couldn't really respect Russell because he was being controlled by Sierra. You know, those words may come back to be true. I'm not saying it is, 
but it's just some moving parts in this situation that's starting to show future may have had been correct. 